My name is Joe Uberti. I'm part of the head of the multidisciplinary team of the bone marrow transplant program at the Carmanos Cancer Center. We're a fairly large program, probably the largest in the state of Michigan. Over the past five years, we've done over 1,100 transplants for various hematologic malignancies. The type of transplants we do include autologous transplants using someone's own marrow, allogeneic transplant using donor marrow, and cord blood transplants using cord blood donors' stem cells. We have a very large multidisciplinary team involved in transplantation. I run the program along with Dr. Vorved Ratana Therathorn, and we are co-directors of the program. We have a number of physicians, social workers, pharmacists, nurse practitioners, all of whom are dedicated to using transplant to cure patients of their malignancies. Dr. Vorved did the first transplant in the state of Michigan a number of years ago and continues to work with us. Our team is composed of people who have great numbers of years of experience in transplant and are devoted only to doing transplant and no other diseases uh, in our profession. Bone marrow transplantation is usually used for various hematologic diseases. Most of those diseases are hematologic cancers, such as acute leukemias, non-Hodgkin's lymphomas, and multiple myelomas. These diseases, all at some point during their disease process, are probably best treated through a transplant. There are some non-hematologic malignancies that we cure with transplant. Some of those diseases are aplastic anemia, sickle cell disease, some of the myeloproliferative disorders. So in general, it's hematologic diseases that we do cure with transplantation. The decision to do a transplant is based mainly on the type of disease the patient has. In some diseases, such as multiple myeloma, we make the recommendation to do a transplant as part of the upfront treatment of their therapy. In other diseases, such as non-Hodgkin's lymphoma or acute leukemia, sometimes we use that as part of upfront treatment, but in other situations, we use it as part of salvage therapy after the patient relapses after their upfront treatment. So it varies as to the type of the disease the patient has, the age of the disease, and donor availability. We have a large multidisciplinary team of hematologic malignancy physicians who we do interact with on a daily basis when we make these decisions to undergo transplant for our patients. And it's usually a multidisciplinary team approach as we plan out a course of action for all of our patients with hematologic malignancies. Most of our transplants are done through the peripheral blood, that is we collect stem cells through the peripheral blood of either our patients or donors. If we are doing an unrelated donor transplant, the unrelated donor can be harvested anywhere around the world and those stem cells are brought to us by a courier in order to do the transplant. Well, I think we have a very experienced multidisciplinary team that has years of experience doing transplantation. Our outcomes have been looked at and compared to other centers around the country and we have really one of the best outcomes of patients undergoing transplant. And I think that's a testament to our team, the experience of our team, and the stability of our team as we've gone through these processes.